Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you like the fresh new haircut. Um, I'm not sure if this is the first video that I'm uploading uh, after I got my haircut. Uh, anyway, hey, since I rarely do get my haircut these days because I'm balding really badly. Anyhow, it's all we're here to talk about. Um, so I do have some movie reviews uh, that, are gonna, that I've shot uh, before this. So, uh, however, this because it's a you know something uh, very recent and it's a pilot of a new television series that people have been kind of waiting for I thought I'll shoot this and upload it as soon as possible so I just watched it a couple of nights ago and this is the pilot episode of Superman and Lois so uh, everybody's familiar with Superman of course and this is the I don't know how many fifth or sixth Superman uh, on including movies as well as excuse me, television shows My favorite will always be Christopher Reeve, the late Christopher Reeve, but this actor is pretty good um, as well. Although he's in a, he hasn't become a household name like uh, some of the, some other superheroes so far, but I'm pretty sure he might be um, if the show is really good. So Superman and Lois is now the, what is it, this is the sixth series uh, in the Arrowverse, the uh, DC uh, based on the DC Comics um, television series and universe called Arrowverse because it was started off with um, Arrow uh, which is no longer running it completed eight seasons and went off the air uh, you've got Flash which was um, the spin-off for from uh, Arrowverse from Arrow sorry not Arrowverse from Arrow then you had Supergirl you had uh, Legends of Tomorrow you've had uh, Black Lightning and you've got this one although uh, Black Lightning is kind of said slightly differently. However, this is from the DC Comics uh, era and it is considered to be part of the Arrowverse. You will see characters from the other uh, shows, uh, probably guest starring on this. Uh, both Superman and Lois, and, uh, Lois character has uh, guest appeared in the um, in the last seasons, last couple of seasons. However, this is the first time that the uh, you're going to be concentrating on this. Uh, on the pair so it is going to be a full-fledged television show set in the Arrowverse. so you have uh, Tyler Hoshelin I I do not know how to pronounce the name I think I might go online and actually check and see how to pronounce the name but to me it sounds like it's probably either Hoshelin or Hoshelin if you pronounce the cur sound or the ch so Hoshelin is what I'm going to say and Elizabeth Tullock who um, you know uh, I must say she's actually a pretty actress but Please go eat a sandwich, eat something because you're really, really thin. <laughs> she, uh, and she looked really thin in the very beginning of the show as well. So they're playing the now married couple of uh, Clark Kent and Lois Lane, uh, Clark Kent and Superman, of course. And they also have, so it is not no origin story, which I'm really glad because I've kind of like had it up to here with super superhero origin stories, especially Superman. It's been done and dusted. Uh, we all know what happens. Uh, so you only get to see a little bit of clipping, uh, clips here and there, and I hope that's how they're going to do it. I wouldn't mind them revisiting in an episode, maybe a flashback episode or, you know, a time travel episode, something like that. That wouldn't be uh, the worst thing ever, but uh, let's move on from all those kind of things. So uh, you have, uh, other than these two actors, you have Jordan, um, sorry, how, how do you pronounce these names? Elsass as Jonathan Kent, who is the... Uh, so they've got twin teenage sons around 15 years old um, Jonathan Kent and uh, Alex Goffin plays John and Kent so these are the two sons and um, one of them is going to in it seems is inheriting the powers of uh, his father of their father Eric Valdez plays Kyle uh, Cushing who is Lana Lana Lang uh, is married and has a daughter herself her husband uh, is uh, Kyle Cushing uh, you have Inde Navrat, Nav, Navarat as Sarah Cushing, who plays the 15-year-old daughter of uh, Lo, uh, of Lana and uh, and Kyle. Uh, you have uh, Emmanuel Chirky, who I kind of have watched here and there um, in several movies and and uh, television series, plays Lana Lang. Uh, she plays a loan officer. Dylan Walsh, who I almost didn't recognize him, this has, looks a little bit older now. Uh, as Samuel Lane, who is Lois's father and who is an army general. 
trying to keep the world safe from uh, threats. Uh, and you've got uh, Wall Fox as Captain Luther. And that was surprising at the end. Um, so I'm not really sure of the character Cap Captain Luther. Is he supposed to be uh, Lex Luther? Yes. But I think he's a, a, real, uh, a different incarnation of uh, maybe from one of the comics, he's slightly different. He's supposed to be Lex Luthor, but uh, he's played by, I think, a black actor. I didn't get to see much of it. Uh, I suppose so. Uh, or maybe a, mi a character of mixed race. Um, and that was surprising that they are actually going to focus on a version of Lex Luthor as the villain. He is the biggest villain that Superman has ever faced. Anyway, that's about the show. Uh, anybody else? Agnes, uh, Agnes, sorry, Angus McFadden plays Jor-El, uh, uh, who is uh, you know, Superman's uh, biological father. I think he might have a recurring, uh, uh, he might have a recurring role, and um, yeah, that's about it. Um, so basically, um, because of some, um, uh, some, uh, you know. Um, cuts at the Daily Planet, um, you know, uh, Clark Kent loses his job. The couple are thinking of what to do, um, how to con how to move on with their lives when they see that uh, Martha Kent passes away. Uh, the family is now in mourning and they go to the old farm and then they decide that they might want to stay there. And during this time you get to meet um, Alana Lang. Anna Lang's daughter becomes friends with the two uh, sons. They are fraternal twins. Uh, one is the jock and one is the uh, emo kid. And uh, I guess it's kind of like um, cliche to have the quieter, more uh, disturbed um, kind of character, more quieter character actually inherit the powers. I actually knew that was coming like from a mile away, but he was the one who's actually going to have the powers. So that's a that's basically it and um, you get to see it towards the end that i mean there, there is a threat of this man in a big uh, metal suit i guess it is uh, and he's uh, at the end we get to know he's he's called uh, captain luther by the uh, by the computer of the spaceship that he's on or kind of some kind of a spaceship which is a landed ship basically and we when he removes the helmet you get to see the back of his bald head and uh, these, the computer calls him Captain Luda. So I am uh, curious to know about this reiteration of, not reiteration, sorry, this iteration of uh, of Lex Luthor. I don't know what the background story is. Um, I've never been a big comic book fan. I have read a few here and there, but it's been ages. So <coughs> I have no clue. Excuse me about that. So this is supposed to be 14 years after their marriage. Hmm. All right. Uh, and uh, you know, so it is a little bit more mature. I think the way that they are looking at it is, um, you know, these are uh, this is a superhero who is, you know, um, well seasoned. He's been a superhero. So he's been Superman for a for a many many years. And uh, you know, the, the relationship issues that you normally would see or have seen in the Flash, Arrow. Uh, Batwoman. Sorry, sorry about, forgot about Batwoman. Um, yeah, that's not. Me. And uh, the other shows, those kind of things are going to be a little less because this is a solid couple. They have been. Uh, it's almost like I have an antenna on one side. I'm an Andorian, <laughs> so uh, they have been a couple for a lot for a long time. They've been married for a long time. So you're not going to see those kind of things in this show. And I, for one, am glad. I would like to see a little bit more mature kind of thing, like. You know the the way the TV shows have this on on and off relationship. Like you know, for they seem to fight sometimes for absolutely silly reasons. They break off, they get another paramour, and then that's just a hurdle. You know they're going to end up uh, together anyway. So that's um, you know some of the points from this particular TV show. Um, it is not. Um, it, it doesn't have. I didn't. I mean, I couldn't make up too much of humor added into it but there are a couple of uh, bits of it added on uh, although because it's mostly of a somber nature the episode you know Clark Kent losing his job at the Daily Planet then losing his mother uh, you know so it's kind of like a little bit uh, uh, more serious um, 
and that's about it. So you get to know that one of the brothers is having powers. They are relocating their life to Smallville, I guess. And uh, we have some villains and maybe the main villain is going to be over here. So what did I think of the pilot? Um, and that was pretty good. Um, compared to the other pilots, I think the Arrow pilot was pretty strong. Um, the Flash one was like uh, as well. Um, I think all the, uh, except for that one. <laughs> Sorry, can't really say, um, can't really have too much possible things about that one because that show is really, um, you know, let's put it at that. Let's leave it that way. Um, so I would say it's a very solid um, pilot for what they're going for. That is, um, you know, no origin story. Just where they are in their in their uh, current stage of life, um, and uh, you know what they are going through, uh, raising the two sons, like uh, the the youngest. Uh, sorry, the um, two brothers, Jordan especially. Um, finds it difficult uh, because he feels his dad is rarely there. He is too busy saving the uh, saving the planet, saving people, and maybe doesn't have enough time for his for his son. So I think that way that adds some of those elements in it. So you're you're getting to see a much more mature side of a superhero, and I think that's what they were going for. You know, to see them how they adjust to life um, as a family. Um, and also have those, uh, you know, maybe now they've got a uh, another superhero, a young one, uh, and Superman's going to have to take him under his wing, so to speak, and uh, guide him and mold him and make sure that he is on the right path. Possibly that they might even look at making him a villain. I just thought of that right now. So if I remember that movie, uh, Brightburn, it's kind of like, remember that is kind of like just flashed my mind. So that's uh, you know just some of my viewpoints on this particular TV show. Um, so far, seems to be good. I look forward to watching it. I don't know how many episodes they're going to have. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be. Is there anything mentioned over here? I think it's going to be like maybe fifteen or twenty. And it's uh, once again shot on location. Sorry, shot um, uh, in uh, sorry British Columbia. Columbia, you need to find the beautiful places, in, and it's in Canada always. Um, not sure how many episodes is going to be, but I'm guessing it's probably around the 2022 because the other shows are in, or it might be shot in like 15 or 16. Either way, I would be okay with it. Um, but I do like this so far. I mean, it gives me some hope, um, especially looking at. Um, season 2 of Batwoman as well so it is kind of difficult for me to watch Batwoman now uh, especially the first year first season was pretty bad uh, with just maybe a couple of episodes here and there um, being a plus point so I'm really looking forward to this show and I hope it's uh, you know lives up to the current promise but it's too early to say it's too early to say I'm going to say that it's too early to say um, I think for the time being it is promising uh, I would give the pilot an 8 out of 10 or I would say even go go forward 8.5 out of 10. It did uh, I did like it quite a lot. So I like the I like the themes. I like the concepts. Um, seems interesting to me. So um, yeah. So that's my little thoughts on uh, Lois. Sorry, Superman and Lois. Uh, and uh, hope it is a good show going forward. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night.